Could your cat's toe beans be trying to tell you something? You will also know how these pads act as shock absorbers, aid in silent hunting, and play a crucial role in your cat's health and happiness. So let's start with how cat coat color dictates the coloration of its toe pads. The color of a cat's coat affects the color of their toe beans due to melanin, a pigment in the skin. Melanin determines the pigmentation of their skin, fur, and toe beans. Cats with more melanin have darker coats and darker toe beans, while those with less melanin, like white cats, often have pink toe beans. Interestingly, cats with multicolored coats, such as tabbies or calicos, can have toe beans that match their various fur colors. It's also common for a cat's nose and toe beans to share the same color. Number two, a few cats are born with polydactyly. Some cats are born with an interesting genetic quirk, polydactyly. Unlike most felines who sport 18 toes in total, five on each front paw and four on each back paw, polydactyle cats boast even more. This anomaly can manifest in two main forms, preaxial, where extra toes sprout on the inner side of the paw, and mesoaxial, where additional digits appear elsewhere on the paw. Polydactyl cats typically enjoy good health despite their extra toes, which don't usually pose health issues, but can complicate routine nail care. Some preaxial polydactyls are known for their mitten paws, where the surplus toes resemble a thumb, giving their paw a mitten-like appearance. Interestingly, these thumb-like toes aren't opposable, contrary to their appearance. In various cultures, polydactyl cats are considered harbingers of good luck and prosperity. They are notably prevalent in certain regions, including the eastern United States, Canada, western England, and Wales. Historically, this distribution may trace back to cats brought on transcontinental ships, where they help control rat populations and curve diseases, inadvertently spreading the genetic trait across distant shores. Number three, paw pads are finely tuned. The pads on your cat's paws are finely tuned sensory tools that play a crucial role in their daily life. They're packed with nerve receptors that help your cat navigate their environment. These sensitive pads allow your cat to sense changes in texture, temperature, pressure, and vibrations. Similar to how we use our hands, a cat's paws help them assess situations for potential danger, feel the temperature of surfaces to avoid discomfort, and detect subtle movements that might indicate prey or predators nearby. Because their paw pads are so sensitive, most cats don't like their paws touched. They may find it overstimulating or even painful. While it's helpful to gently get them used to paw handling for nail trims and health checks, always prioritize your cat's comfort. Treat their paws delicately, respect their boundaries, and build trust through positive interactions. This approach ensures your cat feels safe and cared for during these interactions. Number four, sweat glands reside within a cat's toe beans. In a cat's anatomy, the toe beans play a critical role in regulating body temperature because they house important sweat glands. These glands are crucial for releasing excess heat from the cat's body. Unlike humans, who have sweat glands distributed across their entire body, cats have them primarily in a few hairless spots such as the anus, chin, and toe beans. This makes the toe beans a significant area for sweat release in cats, helping them manage their temperature. Although cats' sweat glands are less numerous and efficient compared to humans, they serve an essential function during overheating or times of stress. Cats typically prefer quicker cooling methods, like finding a cool surface or shade, but sweating through their feet can occur when they need to cool down or when feeling anxious. This unique adaptation underscores the importance of toe beans in a cat's thermoregulation strategy. Number five cats can have a dominant left or right paw. Just as humans have dominant hands, cats also exhibit paw preferences. Research conducted at Queen's University Belfast's Animal Behavior Center studied 50 mixed breed cats to explore whether they favor one paw over the other. While there wasn't an overall preference like human right-handedness, 
The study revealed a gender trend. Male cats tend to be left paw dominant, whereas female cats lean towards being right paw dominant. During tasks such as reaching for food or navigating obstacles, many cats demonstrated a preference for either their right or left front paw. If you've observed your cat's paw preference, feel free to share your experiences in the comments. Number six cats are tiptoe walkers. Cats are digitigrade animals, meaning they walk on their toes and the balls of their feet, unlike humans who walk with the entire soles of their feet, plantigrade, another category, unguligrade, applies to animals like horses and deer that walk on the tips of their digits. Most mammals, including cats, dogs, wolves, and lions, are digitigrade, which enhances their speed and stealth. This evolutionary trait not only aids in hunting efficiency, but also helps them evade predators quietly. Furthermore, cats' toe beans, their paw pads, serve a crucial role in their agility and safety. These pads, including the metacarpal pad on the front paw and the metatarsal pad on the back paw, absorb shock when cats land from jumps or falls, preventing injuries. They also muffle the sound of landings, enabling cats to maintain stealth during hunting or evading predators. This combination of physical adaptations allows cats to navigate and survive in their environments effectively. Number seven, they act as shock absorbers and sensors. Cats are pretty good jumpers, and they're pretty good at landing gracefully too. They can thank their kitty paw pads for providing extra cushioning and allowing them to land so silently. Not only do they absorb sound and lessen the impact after a big jump, but your cat's sensitive paws also come in handy as low sensors. Paw pads have plenty of nerve receptors that give them important information about their surroundings, helping them to sense vibrations, textures, and pressure. This knowledge alerts them to possible predators and the movements of their prey. With hidden claws, jump silencing padding, and fine-tuned sensory abilities, a cat's sensitive paws help make your kitty the exceptional hunter she is. Number eight, cat paws act as a built-in loofah. Cats are fastidious about their hygiene, and a combination of paws and tongue are their tools of choice. If you've ever watched cats groom themselves, you'll see how they use their paw as a tiny fur scrubber to clean their ears, nose, and head. First, they lick a paw, and then they rub the paw repeatedly in a circular motion over each area. These built-in loofahs come in handy when there's no other kitty sibling to groom their face for them. Number nine cats use their paws for stress relief. As we have already touched on, some cats will need to relax and soothe themselves. They may do it on blankets or bedding using their front paws. This type of behavior is likely their way of expressing comfort or trying to get comfortable and relieve stress, as it is what they did as a kitten. Many cat owners affectionately refer to this behavior as their cats making biscuits. <laughs>